What's going on, Reject Nation? We're gonna watch today from our friends over at New Rockstars, WandaVision Episode 5, their breakdown of the recently released footage, trailer, and you know, their theories, Easter eggs, predictions, and whatnot. They're the best at this game. Let's see what's in store. Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and WandaVision's mysteries are starting to come into focus now that episode four took us outside of Westview and gave us terrifying context from Avengers Endgame and Avengers Infinity One War. One of the best and cold now, opens ever. promo footage for episode five <laughs> dropped in some huge clues for the epic showdown ahead. Is Disney yeah, no, proving right. everything <laughs> with these promos? I don't think so. Only really the curious cats probing into the visual details with rewatch upon rewatch risk nearing that pressure. Is truth. And even then, we usually end up with more questions on our Jimmy Woo mm. new Rockstars trolling boards. So let <laughs> us break down everything we learned about WandaVision from this episode five sneak peek. Let's get started. We now have first person intel from inside the Westview <laughs> anomaly. Okay, these are mostly visuals from the most recent episode yes. here, except now Hayward is yeah. jumping on this opportunity to have Monica back so that he can get some details from him. inside Westview. Based on my theories about this guy, I'm sure he's real eager to be the first one to interview Monica. Now, this Sword Command Center has this awesome map table with the globe of the Sword logo rotating. I like how the outer layer of this logo has eight stars, four on each side of a central bright ninth star. Wonder if these could represent the nine realms with Midgard, aka Ooh. Earth in the center Perhaps. on that sword. Cool Across theory. the continents are some blinking text. Well I actually really like that idea if it does represent uh, all nine realms because they got Darcy Lewis in here. It was reminding me of the first Thor movie when she showed up. I don't know, having a little bit of linkage to Thor in that little Easter egg nuance would be pretty neat. Absolutely. One in the East Mediterranean off the southern coast of Turkey. Another that for a second looks like it's around my hometown of Jacksonville, Florida. Duval! Portals! <laughs> Although, if Sword Headquarters is based on Cape Canaveral, this could be showing Sword HQ. Mm, Duval. On the screens behind them show what looks like the 80s episode inside Westview, the family ties looking home set. <laughs> Agnes dressed up as uh, Kimmy Gibbler from Full House. I'm actually assuming we will get some kind of meta nod to Olsen's oh, sister's there has work to be. on that oh, show. There has to be. What are we looking at here? Is it an alternate reality, time travel? It's a sitcom. Starring two Avengers? It's a working theory. <laughs> Again, more stuff from past episodes, except this new shot that looks like it is from the 80s episode intro. Jean skirt, Vision's uh, calculator watch. <laughs> Many have noticed how consistently everyone in Westview appears to wear watches despite the time dilation. Jimmy Woo does ask if time travel is going on, and he wrote same time and space on the board. <laughs> and with the Strucker watch, the clock radio, the clock and toaster commercial, time is important. In fact, out of sync clocks could be key to Vision's awakening and based on the norm oh. notes in episode four, how he is awakening others in the town. Huh. And then the way the camera pushes in on them kissing. To be fair though, clocks and watches <laughs> are common are, are very common life. everywhere in life. <laughs> and especially during the 50s and 60s, I think a lot of people would you have know, a lot of at all time. A lot of us have cell phones with time on them now, but clocks and watches are not exactly out of this realm. Part of it reminds me of the motion of that shot in the full house opening. Remember how it rushes up on the Tanners in that park in San Francisco? Probably fleeing Aunt Becky, hitting them up for bail money. Ooh! Next clip. Yeah. Life moves fast out in the suburbs. Something's wrong here. <laughs> Should we just take it from the top? Wanda. Wanda. I don't know how any of this started. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Okay, Wanda is in her sitcom kitchen cleaning up a bunch of toys. <laughs> now we know the 80s set will feature the boys still as babies, and we see Wanda in this outfit later on that 80s set. So if this is all still the 80s, these boys would be older now, maybe aging too fast for the decades to keep up. Now it's interesting that Agnes yeah, yeah. breaks character and resets this way. Should we just take it from the top? Normally, oh. Wanda is the one to break reality, halt everything, edit these scenes in progress from within. So the fact that Agnes is making the call here might suggest that Wanda's ability to edit these moments does not work Ooh. on Agnes. Kind of like that mm. stork. Agnes is another unaccounted for Westview component that is beyond Wanda's control. Put that stork on the wall! Of Wanda's <laughs> modern family or Malcolm the Middle home. It's glitching through layers of construction. But then Vision says this. What is outside of Westview? 
he sounds oh, pretty emotional oh, here. Yeah. Like Truman for the Truman Show, demanding to leave Sea Haven. What's on the outside? And then we see Vision trying to push out through that CMBR static wall. I'm thinking this could be right after that nighttime footage of him soaring up over Westview from the trailer for the first time, getting a sense of this fictitious reality. And right, right, yeah, yeah. Nice clip. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. It's probably just a case of the Mondays. <laughs> Am I right? Here, once again, the closing <laughs> shot of episode four. There's so much happened in that montage. are looking out over that TV set directly at us. <laughs> but then this armored sword vehicle carrying some kind of cargo rams the Westview border wall as it is lit up red. <laughs> now, we've seen it glow this threatening color in other <laughs> shots. I feel like this is what Westview looks like when Wanda feels threatened. Based yeah. on the windows of that vehicle, this looks like the vehicle that the pilot is in, not the helicopter. Copy right, right. That other cockpit interior shot that we've seen. Now, this vehicle is numbered 9219R. I did check to see if there's any significant 1992 Vision Scarlet Witch comic, or just maybe not every number on the show means something. <laughs> a <much clearer laughs> version of whatever shot we've seen before. The static oh, I love this shot. I love that shot of it ramming in. It just feels like. America! Yeah, I know. Get in there! <laughs> we can do this do with it. force! Get in there! We got metal, we got bombs, let's do it! I don't, I don't think that's how it's gonna play, but it just feels that way initially when you see this. Like, just get in there and blow it up! Just hit it really hard! A much clearer version of another shot that we've seen before, the static wall as some silhouette comes through it. You can actually see their leg as it's coming through. Is that like, vision? Oh, it off. Seems now, like it would be. I don't think this is vision as we saw in the other shot of him leaving Westview. Based on the coat and the hair it actually looks more like Wanda, Wanda. oh damn when you outline that shit yeah the left of this figure it Definitely looks the like they are carrying something maybe dragging something behind them dead is babies Wanda with one of swords <laughs> drones that she's tossing back out <laughs> or is this that truck after she turned it into a toy a toy that maybe one of her kids starts oh, playing with yikes no. and Wanda's no. going directly no. to be right so eerie Claire uh. from modern family and also giving us uh, a bit of irony inspired by office space I gotta get out of here I think I'm gonna lose it uh oh so Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> but really, the biggest new stuff of this trailer comes in the very final seconds. Ooh. <laughs> My my Whoa. nipples just so, rose. Wanda uses her red chaos <laughs> magic to levitate in some Where interesting is looking facility. It looks like rows and rows of yeah. office drawers, but at impractical to reach heights. It almost looks like soundproofing panels. And then a glass panel huh. walkway with what looks like office blinds behind her. So where is this? It does kind of seem like a sword, sword facility, facility, but yeah, nothing in their camp outside Westview would be this elaborate. I'm thinking this could be Wanda's mind palace, a mental yeah. database. <laughs> or library. There have been a ton uh, of sightings of the Westview Library. It could be a manifestation of Wanda's uh, memories. Interesting. It's kind of like Bruce Almighty. I can see that for sure. If you think about it, she definitely has compartmentalized emotionally at least. Or we could be seeing a flashback to Wanda's time in Sokovia when she was working with Hydra, Ooh. something we know will be important on this show. Maybe these panels are part of a kind a danger room training grid. Then Vision and Wanda like are part of some kind of superpower conflict in the Westview neighborhood. In the distance behind Vision appears to be a car Ooh. on fire. Ooh. I am now wondering huh. if this whole Westview anomaly is the aftermath of some other Avengers level crisis that Wanda initially went to try to help, but in order to contain it, she had to create this kind of hex to resurrect Vision, which ended up with all of them trapped inside it. That initial crisis could have been caused by Jimmy Woo's missing witness as a way to hey, lure interesting. Wanda in. And then this red tinted shockwave turns a 50s black and white city yes. block into a modern Technicolor one. I actually think this particular shot could be in reverse. A blue car on a normal street being warped into the 50s sitcom yeah, yeah. reality Wanda and Vision started this series in. Then a crazy shot of Vision outside the static wall. Look very closely right. at this. His cape is still dragging him back in. Mm. No capes. But look closely ah. at Vision's forehead. <laughs> Looks like there's a bit of a divot where that mind stone was yanked out. So yeah, Vision oh, on the he's outside going of into dead vision. Oh. to creepy corpse form as oh. he would because he's dead. Wow. He could be falling apart second by second with chunks of him being dragged back into oh, Westfield. No. Oh. 
Oh yeah, this could be like recreating the moment when he did die in Infinity yeah. War right there. Like it, it, it's happening. And oh, what a potential for body horror too. <laughs> like, oh. And I also do think the black and white thing going in reverse makes sense. I feel like this is going to be that episode when the first teaser came out when they're in the living room and then the, <laughs> shit, it's like a mixture of black and white and color and it looks like she's breaking dimensions. I think it's going to be this episode where you see that. The teaser doesn't have that moment here, but I, rem I that image never left my mind. It's like he is screaming maybe for help from those sort agents like maybe Wanda is keeping him from leaving a sort of reversal the way he tried to keep her in the Avengers compound yep. in Civil War. Oh, I mean cool. Vision is aware that he I is dead. That. He might prefer death over this creepy false afterlife. And then in the final shot it's Vision so and Wanda levitate to face each other in a kind of tense looking standoff or float off. Trouble in paradise. I do think Wanda Vision is going to become Wanda versus Vision. But check it out. A little doghouse <laughs> with the name Sparky. Sparky is the name of Vision <laughs> sent the soy dog <laughs> from the Tom King Vision series, oh, one of the mini comic series inspiring this show. Actually, I think this series seems to be pulling from pretty much every major Scarlet Witch and Vision comic title. It's hard to say whether any one of them is a bigger influence on the story than any other one of them. Oh, by the way, I am wearing our... I wanted to just really quickly say, I think this moment actually might be played for laughs. I'm really under the impression that this moment will be something that is like, they're having a hard time being parents and yeah, they get into some yeah. type of conflict with each other. And then it's a fun way of yeah. foreshadowing what's gonna break our hearts with this guy's kind of standoff <laughs> later. Yeah. I feel like isolated, this feels like, oh, this could be a serious oh, no. scene, yeah. but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm just gonna throw my hat in the ring that it's a joke. <laughs> I still do think though that it will be eventually become Wanda versus Vision, just throwing that out there. But I think Vision will help be a sacrifice official hero in the end. Oh, by the way, I am wearing our latest Obsession shirts, an unusual couple. Limited supplies still available at our merch store, NewRockStarsMerch.com. You can follow me on Instagram at EA Voss, follow New Rock Stars, subscribe to New Rock Stars Do on it. YouTube for breakdowns of all your WandaVision what the f Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Great stuff, man. Great yeah. stuff. I can't wait for this week's episode. New rock stars. You guys are always <laughs> killing it. All the time we've been covering new rock stars videos. This has been my favorite to cover, actually. Subscribe to them. Hit that like button. Keep a lookout for our WandaVision reaction this week. Last but not least. Gotta shout out my buddy, Eric Horstman. I don't even know where to begin, man. This past month, you've sent over Olivia and I some incredible engagement gifts and it just, the packages just did not stop coming in. We love every single one of them. They are absolutely incredible. You have just really touched our hearts so much so that you're invited to our honeymoon. That's right, Eric Horseman. Oh, yeah. You're coming to the honeymoon. Mm. You're gonna be in the corner. You're gonna be touching yourself right there. And we're just gonna be looking at you the whole time. You're a lucky cat, you. Oh yeah, you're a voyeur. You like to be voyeured on. But in all sincerity, can't wait for you to touch yourself in front of us.